What is the rule of nines? The rule of nines gets its name because the numbers used are multiples of nines, making it easy to remember. It is a method used to quickly estimate the total body surface area that is burned in order to assess the extent of a burn injury and guide treatment decisions such as IV fluid requirements. That's because when someone suffers a third degree burn, multiple skin layers are destroyed, causing significant loss of water and a risk for hypovolemic shock. We have an entire lecture focusing on shock, so we won't go over that topic in detail here. Why is the rule of nines important? Well, consider this. If a person has burns on 10% of the body, they should be taken to a specialized burn center. Also, according to the NIH, burns covering 20% of the body require substantial intravenous fluids, and doctors will use the estimated area of the burn to decide how much fluid is needed. Now, burns covering more than 30% of the body can be fatal. So how do we use the rule of nines? Well, it works by assigning an approximate percentage to each body part as shown in this image. So let's go over it. These are the values for adult. The front of the head and neck is 4.5%. The back of the head and the neck, it's also 4.5% for a total of 9%. The trunk, we have 18% for the front and 18% for the back, a total of 36%. For each arm, 4.5 front and 4.5 back. For each leg, 9% front and 9% back. Keep in mind the groin area applies to both genders as 1%. We'll go over the differences between adult and child percentages on the next slide. This table highlights the differences between adult and child burns. Note that the adult's head and neck and the legs are smaller percentages than the child's. Remember, children have big heads and small legs. That's why they look so cute. The percentages for an adult head are half of that of a child, 9% versus 18%. The differences for the legs is smaller. Each leg equates to 18% of the surface area of an adult's body, but only 14% of a child. Board exams will test whether you can calculate the burn percentage according to the areas burned on the patient. Let's review some sample questions on the next slides. Question number one, a 30 year old female has sustained burns to her left arm, posterior trunk, left leg, and perineum. Using the rule of nines, calculate the total body surface area that is burned. A, 37%, B, 55%, C, 42%, or D, 36%. The correct answer is A, 37%, let's review. The left arm is 9%, posterior trunk 18%, left leg 9%, and the perineum is 1%. I hope you got this right. Let's review another sample question on the next slide. Question number two. A 69-year-old male patient has partial thickness or second-degree burns to the front and back of both of his arms, anterior left leg, and anterior trunk. Using the rule of nines, calculate the total body surface area percentage that is burned. A, 31.5%, B, 58.5%, C, 45%, or D, 40.5%. And the correct answer is C, 45%. Let's review. The front and back of both arms, 9 plus 9, is 18. The anterior left leg, 9% and the interior trunk is 18%. I have one more sample question on the next slide. Question number three. A five-year-old girl has superficial burns to the anterior right arm, posterior left leg, groin, and anterior head and neck. Using the rule of nines, calculate the total body surface area percentage that is burnt. A, 26%. B, 21.5%. C, 35%. Or D, 20.5%. The correct answer is B, 21.5%. Let's review. Anterior right arm, 4.5%. Posterior left leg, 7%, because 14 is for the entire leg. The groin is 1%. Gender doesn't matter. 
Anterior head and neck, 9%. Remember, 18 is for the anterior and posterior of the head and neck. I hope these simple questions helped you understand how to utilize the rule of nines better. The rule of nines is a good dumping information when taking the boards or simply memorize them. If you're preparing to take the ANCC or the AANP exam and found my teaching style helpful, I welcome you to check out my website, thecohenreview.com. Find the link in the description below.